So today I'll be showing you how you can customize your Fedora desktop to make it look a lot nicer. This is how it looks right now. And with a few extensions and a few apps and wallpapers, we can make it look a lot nicer like this. All right, so what I want to do first is to install this extensions app by Gnome project that you can find in the software app. And uh, this, when you install it, will show you this menu where you can manage all of your extensions. Now to get extensions, you have to go to a browser and just search them up and just say extension on and then you can find the extensions you want. Now the ones that we'll be installing are Blur My Shell, Clipboard Indicator, Dash to Dock, Media Controls, Open Bar, Pop OS Shell, Resource Monitor, Space Bar, and Linux Dynamic Wallpapers. So you can follow the instructions on how to install each of them, especially these GitHub ones. You can just go through the GitHub readme and uh, follow these instructions. I think this, so it's over here. So you need to follow these instructions for Pop OS Shell and you need to follow these instructions here. I recommend you just run this method for the dynamic wallpapers. So if you install them correctly, all you gotta do is click install and it'll ask you to open the app and it should install over here. Now what we can do is enable each of them and I'll show you what each of them do. So blur my shell just adds a blur over here and it makes everything look a lot nicer. So it adds a background blur over here and on the top bar. Without it, it looks a bit plain. It takes the color of your background. Now clipboard indicator brings the Windows clipboard to the top bar so you can access your previous clipboard history. Now dash to dock brings up this mac os like talk which is especially useful in fedora because it isn't available regularly and it changes the way it looks so regular normally it has this big uh, thing over here where if you click on them it opens a separate instance it can get a little bit annoying so if you have this extension it stays the same now media controls adds your media player controls to your top bar open bar adds a lot of customization now i've already customized this there's an extensive menu here, which you can go through and uh, change whatever you want. For example, the bar height or the type of you know, highlight that you want. You want floating, you want a mainland. Just customize it and make it look nice. Now, personally, I don't like this very much because I'll show you why. Then you have Pop Shell, which basically adds the, you know, i3. i3 is a desktop manager and Pop Shell brings that kind of functionality automatic window snapping now resource monitor adds a resource monitoring tool to your top bar which if you click on it'll open up the uh, task manager app now space bar is the last app which basically adds this uh, i3 like uh, desktop management system where you can use win 2 and win 3 to switch between desktops which i think is pretty cool these are the extensions now for the wallpapers, we'll open up settings. And if you have followed these instructions correctly, a folder full of live wallpapers that change depending on the time will appear in your settings in, in appearance. And what you can do is just click any of them and see how they change with time. And now another couple of apps that you can install are NeoFetch, which if you are on uh fedora you just do sudo dnf install neo fetch and then that will install this program which brings up all the information about your computer now another nice thing is something called ptop which basically shows what your processes that's going on and uh, if you ask me it looks pretty cool to have all of this just running and people will think you like you're like a hacker or something so if you want that then i guess yeah you can try this out